During the pandemic, Western societies gave into fear and hatred. There were barely any opposition to counter the madness. A few courageous Christian pastors were at the forefront of planting the seeds of opposition through their actions. Why did the church had to gather? Is it arrogance? Is it ignorance? Or is it history? In this film, we will dive into the historical struggles and atrocities Christian minorities have faced, particularly Armenians. A glimpse into what it was like to be Christian under Soviet Union. What was it like to be coerced into converting? Who are not converted to Islam were deported out of the country. A story of biblical proportion. After he cured the king Dertat, so a king decided uh, to convert into Christianity. And more. In 2018, I traveled 16 hours on a train to get inside Armenia. At the time, I was living in Turkey, which has a border crossing with Armenia. The border crossing has been closed since 1993. The only way to get there was by taking an outdated train from Georgia. Was it worth it? You'll be the judge of that. What's been so special about Hamshin Armenians? The Hamshin Armenians, I have a lot of people who are in the world. They 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 are in the world. I learned from Sergei Vardanyan, the K academic who brought about the existence of Islamized Armenians into public consciousness. For over 3,000 years, a vibrant Armenian population had existed throughout the broad territory of the Middle East. During the Armenian Genocide in 1915, Armenians were forcefully deported out of their homeland by the Ottoman Empire. Once a thriving community found themselves scattered across a vast region. The story Wardanian is about to tell me is a testament to what it was like to find his lost people. <laughs> Who were these people Wardanyan saw? Nachdenen 
շատ եզակի հայր են բարելու, իրենք է, իրենց պատնություններ, եվ շատ կատ ժողովուրդ են, եվ պարել են շատ հետակ թրքի եվ երկեր, հետո իմացոր իսլան հանշենցներ։ Վարի երկի անսամբրներ, որ եմ համույթներ, համշենի երկեր են ինձ նիս խնդրովոր սովորացնեմ, բարերն եմ գրում, տեկստեր են սարկում, բացատրում են ոնց արտասան են, որ եմ սկսել են համշենի երկեր երկեր, շատ շատ էր համշենի բարբարն են խնդրում ինձ կան դիսերտացյաներ են ուսում գրեն համշենի մասին, մի խոսքով էս հասեմ, որ իմ ռած աղորդությություն է, այս շատ հազտանցնեք հազերով մարդիկ են լսում։ Ասեմ, որ ոչ մի հատվածի հանդեպ իրեմի, վերջից Why Hamshins are so important for Armenians? Because Armenians have found their lost brothers and sisters who are not Christian and survived, despite all assimilation. Researcher Errol Amaduni explains the history behind once a Christian minority, the Hamshin Armenians. Today, the people who are known as Hamshins were historically known as Amadunis from Aragatsun of Armenia. In the 8th century, they escaped from Islamic Arab invasion and sought refuge under the neighboring Trabzon Greek Empire. There, they established an autonomous principality and it lasted 700 years. In 1486, Ottoman Empire took over and abolished it. And then Islamization starts. During the Armenian genocide in 1915, all Hamshins who are not converted to Islam were deported out of the country. I researched and obtained these top secret documents from the Turkey's Ottoman archive. These documents are not given to researchers. Let me tell you my story, how I obtained these documents. I was looking for Ottoman documents for about the Hamshins and I noticed two important documents but I couldn't download it. So I decided to talk to the head of the department. I asked about these documents and he said it's not accessible to researchers. At that time a group of Albanian young men entered his room. They couldn't speak Turkish and the director couldn't speak English. I helped them with translations. As a show of gratitude, the director gave me these documents. These top secret communications between Turkish general staff and the Ministry of Interior reveals how a Christian minority was Islamized by the Turkish state. Your Excellency, the villagers of Zürpeci, Arvala, Çavuşlu, Hayki and Zargana located near county of Hopa province of Trabzon are Armenians whom converted to Islam. They are known as Hamshins. The remainder of the population of the region are Muslim Laz. Hamshins are naive and ignorant people who are prone to be deceived by a single successful missionary. It's extremely important for the local government to be cautious. Upon receiving this information, the Ministry of Interior issues this letter to the local government, urging them to show the Hamshins the right way. Wardayan tells me that the Islamization of Hamshan people have created an identity crisis. Why do Hamshan Armenians are denying the fact that they are Armenian? Even they speaking speak a language that is very similar to Armenian. As Gutuna, Parasvata is Pisic Artigo and Tunumena, how about it? As you can, Christo Nature, I think, highly Corona, if. 
թե օսմանյան կայսերություններ մարտահամարներում հայերին մեն հայարակելական եկեղեցու հետևորդներին էր գրում հայ։ Նույնիսկ հայ կաթոլիկներին կամ բողոքական հայերին հայ չեր գրում, որոնք էլի քրիստոնային։ Նույն էլ եվ իսլամներին չեր գրում։ Բոլոր քրդերին, մյուս մուսուլման ազգերին գրում էր մսլի, մուսուլման։ Այսինքն նախկինում ազգությունը որոշվում էր հավատոր, կրոնով։ Այդ պատճարով էր իսլամ ընդունած հայերը, համշենցիները մտացում են, եթե իրանք իսլամ են, հայ չեն, նույն ձևի նաև հայերն էին մտացում։ The people of the first Christian state, whose religion and nationality were entrenched, had become an easy bite, in isolation, for the Turkish state to chew. Այնպես որ նանացի շատերը չգիտեն է, որ դա հայեր են, կարծում են, որ իրենց գյուղի լեզում է։ Syria, but I'm Lebanese Armenian. Uh, it has been five years that I'm teaching Armenian and Armenian history. Barkev Somalian gives me a quick history lesson on how Armenia became the first state to accept Christianity as a state religion. The old religion of Armenia was paganism, and after that they converted to Christianity. Gregory Illuminator, which in Armenian called as Krikoru Saboric, is the first head of the Armenian Apostolical Church. Now we are at Echmiadzin. I'm going to tell you how Echmiadzin was founded and who constructed it. So you know Gregory the Eliminator. So Gregory Eliminator one day, after Armenia was converted from paganism to Christianity, he, in his dream, he saw that Jesus Christ was here in this area, and he's telling to Gregory to build a church. So after he saw this, this dream, he went to the king, what was the name of the king, Dertat, and he told the Tat king that I have to build a church in this area because in my dream I saw Jesus and the king accept his request and they built this church and they called it H. Miyazin. If you saw, it is behind me, the main church. So what means H. Miyazin? It's an Armenian name. In Armenian it means Miyazin Bortin Aster Ichav. That is in English the only son of God, which is Jesus, who is Jesus Christ, he came here, he was here. So Gregory was son of Anak. During those days, the king of Armenia was Khosrov II. Anak was charged with assassinating the king Khosrov II, Khosrov II, sorry. And he was uh, successful in his mission. That is, he killed the king. After he killed the king, Gregory was able to escape through the help of uh, his babysitter out of Armenia. While the king's son, Bertat, was also escaped to Rome. After several years, these two, they met and they became close friends. An incident happened and that incident, the king found out that Gregory, let's say his best friend, was 
the son of his father murdered. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah. And the second surprise, shocking surprise, was that Gregory is Christian. Mm. In order to punish him, Delta decided uh, to put him in a place which was used as a prison. And the name of this place was called Horvira. 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 Yes. What's the meaning of that? What's the translation to English? Hor means a very deep. Well, while Virap, we can say a hello. It's a deep hello. Mm -hmm. uh, so whoever enters that deep hello, Hor Virap, never going to be able to come out mm -hmm. because there is no light, no water, no food, and there are some kind of animals. And this church is from uh, built from 17th century. Whereas that church there is from 8th century, and it is called Gregory Illuminator Church. That church was used as a prison. It was an underground prison. This is supposed to be the continuation of that prison. That cross is from 4th century. W when did they accept Christianity? In 301 after Christ. After Gregory Eliminator came out of the jail and after he cured the king Dertad. So a king decided uh, to convert into Christianity. I sat down with a senior painter. He is going to inform me on the impact Christianity had on Armenian art. Today in Eastern Turkey, despite attempts to erase the trace of Armenians, their churches that were spared look exactly the same to those churches in Armenia. <laughs> Even today, Armenians are violated by the Turkish states. The destruction of hundreds of churches and thousands of Christian artworks continue as the world turns a blind eye. This is just the tip of the iceberg. 
a massive iceberg. I asked the painter what it was like to be a Christian Armenian under the Soviet Union. I asked the painter what was the punishment for building Kachkars under Soviet rule. Mm. Those Kachkars used as grave monuments were spared by the Soviet, but not by Azerbaijan. I have seen this, and I have come to understand pastors who lived through communism and tyranny. Targeting places of worship is all about asserting dominance over a community. I, as a non-Christian, understand why it's so vital for some Christians, particularly those who lived through communism, to not halt their church gatherings. I have told the story of Canadian pastors. Today, what Armenians are living through is not even comparable. The story must be told. I want to go back to Armenia to tell the story, but first, I must recoup the expenses associated with the production of this film. If you like this film, please consider donating. This will enable me to bring you better quality films. Thank you.